Welcome to St. Paul Evangelical Lutheran Church as we celebrate our 11th Sunday after Pentecost. If you please stand for our invocation. If you may. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who forgives our trespasses by nailing them to the cross, who by grace upon grace assure us of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. to bless 
Jesus and let all the ends of the earth revere him. The second reading this morning comes from the book of Romans. Paul writes, I ask them, has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people whom he foreknew. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now been disobedient in order that, by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience so that he may be merciful to all. Word of God, word of life. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said. He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, explain this parable to us. Then he said, are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into the sewer? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles. For out of the heart come evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person. But to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord! Son of David, my daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, it's not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Jesus is out of the reservation here. Jesus crossed to the other side of the tracks. 
the Israelites and the people of Phoenicia. The prophets have condemned the people of Phoenicia for what they used to be trainer or trade partners and did not end up well. So they dislike each other. By all means, Jesus has no business whatsoever making this cross. And this woman from Tyre has no business getting close to Jesus either. She's not an Israelite. Jesus, Jesus at least for his peers, Jesus is telling them, oh, I am, I am the Messiah. Me and Father are one and all those things. And they are still struggling, but Jesus came from them. Jesus has nothing to do here. It's not his people. Yet he's dead. Talk about plans that my father did not approve, did not plan. Well, maybe the father plans plans that we are not familiar with in places that we never been before. Right? That's why probably Jesus went there. Who knows? Maybe there are plans that God plans over there. So this lady is desperate. The disciples don't want her near them. And it's very likely when Jesus says, that I came to the people of, I came to my people and not to serve the dogs because they probably refer each other as dog. There is no friendship. Okay? But this lady is desperate. And she bad. And there is a very interesting contrast with the story of Peter last Sunday. When Peter said, Lord, save me. And Jesus immediately reached to him. But to this lady, this story is a little different. I mean, remember, Peter is one of his peers. But this lady who has no Israeli tradition, she doesn't believe in God. The lady said, Lord, Heal my daughter. The same immediate reaction. Jesus immediately heals her. But to this woman, he says, Great is your faith. She doesn't believe in God. She's for Syrophoenician. They don't worship Yahweh. But great is your faith. Peter worshiped Yahweh. He's an Israelite. You of little faith. Why the devil stand it? This dialogue has movement, as we notice. It starts with absolutely rejection. From Jesus, which we don't expect to reject anyone. Right? He moves to this woman insisting, please heal my daughter. Please heal my daughter. And she he does. Immediately. And he blesses her. Great is your faith. So what's happening in the meantime? Jesus, Jesus has changed his mind. Let's be clear here. I mean, there are, if we stay with the past as it is, there is books written about Jesus is offending this woman. And he is. But let's stay with the past is telling us. Let's not extrapolate. Let's not overthink. If we not overthink, 
Jesus has changed his mind. He has not wanted to have nothing to do with her. And he heals her daughter immediately. And he blesses her. So Jesus is followed up with the God that he represents to us, who many times in the Bible changed his mind and is thought of condemn, blesses his people. God does that many times, and Jesus is just doing that again. In this case, he goes a step forward. He's blessing someone on the other side of the track. He has no business like. If you are in my confirmation class, I usually I usually kid with the kids. I don't make them memorize anything. Because memorization doesn't trigger faith. Memorization doesn't make you a more faithful disciple. The word of God does. So we read a lot of Bible. That we do. And we play a lot of games with the word of God. But we don't memorize anything. The word does its job. And I always amaze of how they start the confirmation year. I always get the wrong answers and get finish the confirmation year, getting all their answers right, and there's no memorization in the process. But I make you memorize this. <laughs> Just for fun. I, I, thought, I thought the name is, is fun. Hypostatic union. It's a theological term to explain Jesus' nature of both being at the same time human and divine. Because of this hypostatic union, because Jesus is as both human and divine, his changing of mind is good news for us. Because the human Jesus is at work here. All the bias, all the baggage that he carries growing up against these people is showing here. You are dog. And I did not came for God. This is the human. This is us. The, the thing that Jesus is such a great news for us is because He is God, but at the same time, He is us. But the divine takes over. Faith takes so. over. The spirit that we all share, because remember, we share his baptism. The spirit placed on him is the spirit placed on us, and the divine can take over us too. The divine takes over. And the human Jesus change his mind. And the woman daughter is healed immediately. Someone who has perhaps no business healing. What he, what she does not with our heart. If Jesus changed this mind, this women who have no faith in God never stop trusting the power of Jesus to heal her. He says, Lord, in the beginning. And she keeps calling him Lord to the end. Not even for a second she doubts the divine power that Jesus carries. So the good news for us is that we can be overtaken by the divine. And we can trust and be assured that as long as we surrender to the power of Jesus to carry us through, 
and to deliver us. For as long as we say, Lord, save me, Lord, hear it, and we confess this with our mouths and our hearts, you'll deliver. you to listen as we profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the lasting. Amen. Confident of your care and help by the Holy Spirit, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Lord, you gathered the church to be part of your mission as ambassadors of Jesus Christ. As Jesus acknowledged the great faith of a woman from outside his people, help your church discover and find blessing in the faith of people we might reject. Lord, in your mercy. You have blessed us with the bounty of the earth. Grant your grace to all your creatures that the earth will flourish, relieve waters choked by garbage, renew soils stripped of nutrients, and refresh the air all creatures need to live. Lord, in your mercy. You call the nations to be glad and sing for joy. Let your way be known among all the nations of the world, now divided by competing interests, contending alliances, and consumed by enormous worry. Bless us and make your face shine upon all. Lord, in your mercy. You show unexpected mercy, kindness, and generosity. We pray for those who do not have enough, for outcasts in our villages, cities, and towns, and for those who need your healing. 
we pray especially for Jean Doll, Dr. Stalter, Charlie, Carol, Ron, Jim, Kendall, Riley, Garris, Dan, Brandon, Dale, Herb, Tyler, Rodney, Red, Warren, Doris, Oren, Don. We also pray for our healthcare workers, Becky, Cindy, Jamie, Dee, and Art, Missy, Cindy, AJ, Chris, and Karen. Lord, in your mercy, in you we live and move and have our being. Grant our congregation, St. Paul Lutheran Church, grace to find our life refreshing in you. Accompany us in the rhythms of late summer. Give us rest and renew and strengthen us for mission in your name. Lord, in your mercy. People of God, you're now invited to offer your own prayer.
Jesus took bread. gave thanks, broke it, and gave to his disciples, saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Shed for you and for all people and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. And the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. God in spirit be with us here or at home as we partake this meal for the nourishment of our faith.
welcome table. In this meal, we have peace on your goodness and have been united by your presence among us. Empower us to go forth, sustained by these gifts, so that we may share your, your neighborly love with all. For Jesus Christ, the giver of abundant life. Amen. Know this, that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. The God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another. The God of hope fill with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The God of all grace bless you now and forever. We will sing verses 1 and 4 of our singing. Mm -hmm. Peace. Christ is with you. Amen.